So I guess the first question, um, basically, is how did this project wind up in your lap and what appealed to you about it? Uh, the, the project ended up coming my way because uh, I was developing a script uh, called Are We Making Money for Paramount and it was taking a while and I uh, have to wait for Chris Pine. And uh, I got a call from DreamWorks and they basically said, I, I remember they, they had bought this, this manuscript for Michael Bay to direct, but Michael Bay was too busy with Transformers, what I consider directing it, and uh, read the manuscript, read the two screenplays that came with it. And really found, uh, I found that I wanted to get into the science fiction world, like a pure science fiction movie. Uh, but it was really the character of number four, John Smith in the movie, mm -hmm. that really kind of grabbed me. It was a, it was a character who, who I felt was very vulnerable, uh, was a reluctant hero. And at the end of the day, you know, this boy becomes a warrior and uh, ends up kicking some serious ass in the end of the movie. So I, I, it was a fun movie. I wanted to make a really fun science fiction movie. You've had quite a, a sort of a long uh, relationship with DreamWorks mm -hmm. as well, so was that kind of another incentive to do it? To kind yeah, of because it, as as a filmmaker, you know, you feel like you're an independent contractor. You work for Sony, you work for Warner Brothers, you kind of work around. But so, like, my last three movies have all been with the same company, DreamWorks, and I have the same office and the same editing room. So there's real kind of cozy home feel. Uh, so it's sort of like my home studio. So yeah, it was a, a big influence, and, and obviously working with Steven Spielberg again, mm. uh, you feel fortunate every time. But it was it's been the last two films have been such a uh, fun, collaborative, and successful process that to do it again, it was like a no-brainer. Mm. Mm. How's it working with uh, Steve as well? Because I imagine if he's got an idea, it's kind of hard to say no, because like, you did Jaws, however. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's great about Steven is some, he, he has so many ideas. Uh, that they come out like just they just come out like a little boy just thinking out loud and and so many times you can say Yeah, I like that but no, I don't really like that because and he's very good that way But what happens is he's so full of ideas that you just kind of find the ones that you like and you kind of grab onto and then you present them back But uh, yeah, you, you, it's it's hard to say no uh, But ultimately like I said he's very very open to because he has so many all the ideas can end up sticking But uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's very helpful to have that guy around Mm. Were you kind of consciously looking to cast like fresh faces as well, because all the people like rising stars? Basically. Yeah, I was. I was. I felt like this movie was not, you know, going to be made because of a movie star. Uh, it was more about the idea of the movie and this, and not the spectacle of, of making a movie for movie star. So it gave me the freedom, uh, sort of like going back to Disturbia, where you didn't really have the pressure of having to find a movie star. Uh, so yeah, that made it exciting for me to find fresh faces and to try to get a combination of, you know, number four, number six, and Sarah's character. That would be a a real sort of dynamic group. Mm. Yeah. I also wanted to ask um, what you felt about 3D films as well, because I think this isn't in 3D, is it? No, this isn't 3D, and I think the the, S, the uh, interesting thing about, for me to do a 3D film, it would require m many months of preparation, because I feel like in order for me to become a, a filmmaker that can make a great 3D movie, I'd have to become very skilled in the technology and really make it applicable to the movie that I'm making. Mm. We didn't have a lot of prep time on I Am Number 4, so if we were going to go 3D, I felt like my learning curve would have been on the set. And I don't want to be that kind of filmmaker where I'm learning about a technology on the set. I want to be able to know how to master that and to use it uh, to go around. But we are an IMAX movie, uh, which is very exciting. But yeah, I think for me to make a 3D movie, I want to make sure that I'll be fully prepared to do it as a filmmaker. Because I, I, quite honestly, I think there's a lot of filmmakers out there making 3D movies that are just making them to make them and not necessarily to kind of hone the craft.